Hello everybody and welcome back to the Train Brothers Railway. Today is a mid-winter update. We've had a bit of a thaw here from the snow and the ice and the rain we've been getting, which has been a lot of rain. But this is kind of what the railway looks like mid-winter. As you can see, the frost is always good for heaving things. So on the list is the pathway. We're going to have to uh, reset that in the spring. But we've still got the cover on the pond over here to keep all the leaves and dirt and debris out. And uh, our sunshade has taken a bit of a toll, so we're going to have to restaple that back on in the spring. We'll probably do it actually a little earlier because when the wind gets going it flaps and we don't want it to rip any further. I don't think it's actually ripped, it might just be that the staples have come out because we just used staples and stapled it along the beam. But we'll have to fix that. And of course, in the spring, we'll have to trim all these trees again. Our birch are finally starting to take off, which is super duper nice, because that means we're going to get some shade out here in the summer when it's hot and sunny. But the track has fared pretty good. Nothing's really heaved or moved too aggressively. Obviously, it does move a little bit. You can kind of see it's not exactly the straightest but this is still 100 percent you can run trains on it no problem once of course you remove all the leaves and debris that block the way tunnel still nice and clear though but especially with the winds we get leaves tend to collect in certain places and our old trapper cabin has uh seen a little worse for wear but nothing we can't fix and of course we have all the electrical disconnected in our little powerhouse to the tracks but we still have all of our sidings in place if you've seen it some of our videos during the running season in the summer we have a building and we just put it right over top of the track so we can drive right into the building we have our loco shed that's still nice and square and level for it just being built on a skid i open this guy up he just built it on a 2x3 skid, put some shells in it, a piece of plywood, some old shingles we had left over, gave it a coat of paint. We do need to get a better latch though than our little crude piece of wood that holds it in. But this thing's still square and level, and uh, it hasn't blown over or anything like that. The bottoms are still pretty heavy enough. We do want to put some quarter inch chip though, I think down on this long run because right now we just have three quarter crusher run in here but they're a little too big it's not really to scale so we want to put the quarter inch chip like this stuff over that so that it uh, looks a little bit more scale also too we'll fill up the ties and make it all level like an actual railroad so that they sit nice and square and level and of course adding small features like this guy this is just a piece of metal conduit and uh, it was only like a one foot cut off so we buried it and it looks like a culvert coming off of the grade here so we got the slope so it's like the runoff from the mountain so the water would go through the culvert and not wash over the tracks and of course we have the creeping jenny which we're hoping grows over this and this tree here was a late season addition to the railroad and uh, this is a Japanese maple a red Japanese maple so we're hoping it takes off it's already got buds on it which might be a good thing or a bad thing but that's still doing good and of course we'll have to tidy up all of our low voltage wire that we buried all throughout the garden for powering lights and buildings and things like that once again the leaves here and then of course we got the pond up here on the top of the waterfall our spillway we covered for all the leaves and stuff but it looks pretty good still still covered I can zoom in here you can see the rocks underneath there all nice and clean still and then coming around we got still some trees here I will come back our moss 
still hasn't died off yet, surprisingly. This is usually where the farm goes in the summer. Then we'll have to do some more tree trimming here because the trees are getting a little tight and close to the railway here. And of course, our helicopters that germinated last year, we just left to see what they would do. And that tree's about six inches tall. So we'll see if that guy get, gets leaves on it. I'm surprised the rabbits haven't gotten a hold of that though yet. And then of course we're back over to the main side. That's where our main station goes and we have our pull through siding with a stop siding at the end of it. Which is temporarily closed because of the cover. And we have our main line going through here. And this track here looks pretty good. It is a little uneven but we'll reset all this and straighten it all out in the spring. Reset it all nicely so it's, we don't get derailments or the couplers uncouple because of the unlevel track. So that's pretty much why you want all your track level so that the trains can get good traction and uh, the couplers don't come off when it goes up and down. They might come out, come uncoupled, and then the rest of your train is still going and the rest of your rolling stock is staying. But that's pretty much the midsummer or midwinter sorry update this today is february 10th i believe and uh this is kind of what the railway looks like in the midwinter blues we still got a few more months before it gets warm and sunny and the real work will begin on the layout in the spring so until next time guys take care take it easy and uh keep it on the rails bye guys